Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and there's one reason why I'm not saying my intro, and that's because I'm saving it for the video that's going to be coming up. Um, this here is my wor my first worst fishing trip ever. So, I hope you guys enjoy. My life be like... Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Fishing Outdoors. And today is going to be a quick um, trout fishing video. Um, I'm not going to be keeping anything today. I usually I keep one or two fish to eat. To eat. Um, but i seen this place on the highway. It's getting late. The sun's going down. <laughs> so I decided to do a small video. Um, I'm fishing really light today. I got my pack here. Um, and this is like a really nice pool. The water is cold. So that might be a disadvantage, but we'll see what's in this place. Um, I'm using the Abu Garcia. I'm going to stay up here, guys, because the audio is going to be a little bit better. Um, I'll probably just cast right off. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm just I'll, oh, I'll come back to you guys when I'm set up with my rig. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Um, before I start rigging up, I had a rig on there. Um, but it just mixed up with the braid, and I did not bring any fluorocarbon with me. So I have to tie a raid on the braid but thankfully it's really thin braid hopefully you guys can hear me this is the simple stuff i'm bringing first i got my batteries I always bring spares and also i got some sd cards in there um so yeah this is just gonna brief demonstration of what i got um i don't got much i got uh i took a baggie and i filled it up with these um gulp uh minnows and stuff i always use them they work really well for me where i um fish you guys are not into golf, whatever. Um, I really like these. I put them in the baggie so I don't get juices everywhere. Um, second of all, I got a little um, bag of like spinners with pollock countdowns, a uh, rooster tail, and then a blue fox spinner. And also one jig in there. That's what I'm going to be fishing with right now. Then also I got a just a storm um, shad. That's going to be hopefully, um, hopefully if that might work. Then an always broad tape measure to measure my fish. Um, I don't have a scale, so with me. Um, must add size 2 hooks, extra strong for live bait fishing. But I was going to use that rig um, with some of those, but it broke so, and I don't have any more floor carbons. I think I do it. Um, Bass Pro Shop, um, fast lock snaps, those are very important. And that's pretty much it, guys. And then my GoPro case, I just got some uh, batteries. Two, three, two batteries, sorry. So if ever it dies. I'm going to go back up. So I'm going to rig up and show you guys my rig in a minute. See, Hey guys, I'm back and I just finished rig up. Rig, rigging up, sorry. I'm going to reel that in. I'm using the Abra Garcia today. I'm going to test it out, see how it works. Didn't even take the plastic off yet. So this is my rig. I'm just going to throw it there. It's just a, um, I think a, a little jig. forget what the weight is. but uh, And I have a smelt gulp minnow on there. So I'm going to cast it kind of where that foam is. Now I'm going to do a slow, steady retrieve off the bottom, and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not expecting much, because it's kind of cold, um, but we'll see. Never know. Um, this is actually my first... Oh. Nothing's following it yet. I'll just keep on filming if ever I, I'll come back whenever I get some uh, hits. So I just cast that right in the current, guys. I wish you guys could see that, guys. It swims really well in the water. That's why I love gulp. It really imitates fish really well. Um, this, oh wow, I really like this rod. It really casts well. It has a really sensitive uh, tip on there, so hopefully trout's just ambushing. Oh, well, first snag. That sucks. Uh, let's see if I can get it out first. Why? It had to be a snag. <laughs> well, well, this sucks, guys. I'll come back if I ever. I Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a few minutes. I can't get it out. Even if I don't catch any video on this uh, fish on this video, oh, this is gonna hurt. This is braid, so it's gonna suck. I just snap that. If, uh, if I can't, if I can get it off, I'll be really happy. But if I can't, you have to wrap this line around my hands because I can't. That braid will cut you. 
Ow, ow. And then I know it will too because it cuts me. It has cut me before. Um, I really don't like having to snap off lines, but uh, I should probably cast it over there. That might have given me good, better luck, but just right off the day, the bottom over there. So let's see what happens here. Got this wrapped on. Wow. Oh. And it snapped off. Um, so I'm going to rig back up with something else, and I'll come back to you. Okay guys, I retied just a little Rapala countdown. Um, this is a deep diver, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't lose this little lure, lure or two. Well, we'll see. So, I'm just going to do a sort of fast retrieve with this one. This one kind of floats. So, something might hit it from the top maybe. What I'm gonna try to do is cast in those in that current over there. Um, this is like one of my worst fishing trips, I think. Oh, the faster you swim it, the deeper it goes. So that's pretty. So I guess if you let it, um, oh, it cast it right there. So. Oh, tangle. Damn. Guys, I don't think this lure is going to work out very well. It's more of a summer bait. It's really bright. So I have another one, but it's sober. Um, whoops. Oh, mess right there. Um, I have another one that's like silver, I think with a little bit of red on it. So I might try out this one. Guys, it's so cold. You wouldn't believe. Um, cause it's like sun's going down here. mess here oh my god what happened here Oof. what the heck guys I do not know what happened right here um, how did that even get on oh no I got it okay this sucks guys it's really cool fingers are like numb almost and yeah, hopefully the auto is pretty good, so it catches at least a little something. Well, what happened over here? Oh, oh, oh. there we go. Oh, that's what I hate about fishing these sort of baits. They get tangled because they have trouble hooks on them. They're really small too, so they'll be really hard to get out. Um, nope, the bail's open. God, this day is not going well for me. Make sure that goes in. There we go. Oh man, it's tangled again. Oh. Worst fishing trip. Oh god, again. <laughs> guys, I think I'm going to try to cast in that. Maybe there's some fish just swimming. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't unsubscribe just because I'm messing around here. Um, this is probably my first. I caught, I, I'm not a, I catch fish, don't worry. Um, this is like really early in the season. The season's not even open for keeping yet, so that's probably why. They're not even spawning yet, so... I'm guessing it's something like that. I'm going to let it float down maybe. I like my jig better, but um, I'm going to fish with what I got. So I'm going to maybe do a fast retrieve here. Just uh, bring it in. Uh, I really don't want to get caught again. Oh, let's say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Okay. Guys, break this. I'll, I'll go to the other side and I'll come back to you. Hey guys, I'm back. Might be a little bit loud, but I got my lure in the water. Um, yeah, my lace is untied, so I'm just actually going to trip. <laughs> That's what it looks like inside, guys. I bet in the summer, this will be a great fishing spot, but right now, it's really not <laughs> producing any fish. Um, so yeah, I bet there's a lot of minnows in here. This little pocket here. I'm going to cast through here. There we go. I wish this bait would sink. Next time, I'll oh, know. I'm buying a bait that sinks. I'm gonna put my lace in there. I don't feel like tying it. Oh, oh. Something, something just hit it, guys. <laughs> Exciting, guys. Um, some of you, my subscribers are from like, I think Texas and maybe Florida. Close to the Everglades. It's probably really warm there right now. We have still some snow. Um, that's kind of sad. <laughs> You guys are probably catching some huge, like, 10-pound bass. I'm here trying to catch 
like a, a pound and a half trout. Um, well, you never know. I've caught big trout in the past. Um, I, I don't even know if I'm going to post this video, guys. There's nothing interesting. Um, I wish there was fish, but, you know, this is what you do. This is what it is. But I cannot wait till striped bass season is open. I'll come back to you guys if ever I change lures or something and uh, a quick update or whatever. Yeah.